guys, it's me, Mitch, doing a LEGO Galaxy Squad Summer 2013 set review. This is set 70706, Crater Creeper. It's ages 7 to 14, has 171 pieces. And when it comes out at the LEGO store, which uh, it's not available there yet, it will retail for $19.99 US. But uh, if you're impatient, you can get it at Toys R Us for $21.99. Um, right now. Uh, so on the front of the package here, you've got a picture of like a battle, you got the alien bug right up there, you got Chuck Stonebreaker down there, you got an actual size of the ray gun, some information warnings and stuff, there's the green team logo, and then over here we've got a QR code which you can, oh, do I have mustard on my hand? Sorry, I just ate dinner. Um, it's again to see the Crater Creeper in action. I have, and you can also get the Lego Galaxy Squad game free on the App Store and maybe Google Play, I'm not sure. I have that app, it's actually a really awesome app. Um, really fun to play. Um, there's some pictures and stuff. Lego.com slash Galaxy Squad. Chuck Stonebreaker wants you to go there. Uh, stuff. I like the background on the back of the box. So, uh, you know how this works. Just going to unfold my knife. There's the knife blade. Little razor blade, whatever you want to call it. And uh, stick it through this tape. And there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, I see stuff. This is so exciting that I found out that I have a sun. Galaxy Squad set, because not a ton of people have reviewed these. I mean, a few have, but not a ton of people. So, what do we got? Here we got one little sheet of stickers, which has four stickers, which for a Galaxy Squad set, that's barely anything. So, happy about that fact. Oh, wow. Okay. We got our instruction manual. I really want to take a look at this instruction manual, because it has stuff about the summer sets. Goes up to page 44. Then we got some pictures there. Check it out. We got a crater creeper over there. A hive crawler right there with some new like capsules. Um, Galactic Titan. Really hope I get that set when it comes out. Or at some point. I didn't see it at Toys R Us, but when I got this set, but whatever. And then we have the other sets. CLS 9 Eradicator. 80, CLS 89 Eradicator. Mike. And then we have the, the January release of sets. Now we have our parts inventory and win. No paper club advertisement, which is interesting. Oh, and there is a picture of Chuck Sternberger there. And what to do with non-numbered bags, which this set has non-numbered bags. So what do we got here? We got a super tiny bag, a slightly less super tiny bag that has about the same amount of parts from what I can tell. A relatively big bag with some bigger parts and such. And a smaller bag with some medium parts. So, uh, let's get to our speed build on this set. So here we have this set fully built, guys, and I gotta say, this looks pretty awesome. Um, got my pick a cup. Um, and therefore, I'm going to show you the extra pieces. We got three different one by one round plates a pearl gold one, a trans pink one, and a trans light blue one. Um, two, uh, three types of Technic pins. There we go. And a clear, a trans clear badger. So, yeah. Let's get a close up on those mini figures. 
So here we have the first and yeah, the first minifigure <laughs> for the set. This is the Alien Bugoid, not to be confused with Alien Mosquitoid. Um, really nice figure, just the same as one in any of the other sets. So I'm not really going to, I'm not really going to go into huge detail on him. Um, because I've already done a review of a set that has this figure in it. It does come with a ray gun with a trans pink stud on the end. So, uh, overall, very nice figure to, uh, army build with. So, here we have the second minifigure, guys. This is Chuck Stonebreaker. Um, and, of course, he is the leader of the Galaxy Squad green team. That's the green outfit here. Um, let's have a green, normal Lego Space Helmet. And, uh... Basic torso printing and torso back printing uh, with green arms. And then same leg printing as all the other humans except it's on green legs. So uh, I'm just going to take off the helmet really quick. So there's his front face. He's got a scar. He looks pretty confident. Got a lot of facial hair going on. And then on the back he's basically the same but with the mask. So uh, let's move on to the uh, actual parts of the set. So the first vehicle in the set is Chuck Stonebreaker's little speeder thing. First of all, it does have these trans blue pieces on the bottom, so you can quote unquote hover like that, and it's still pretty nicely as well. Not necessarily on uh, base plates, but they use the same piece on the bottom of Ninjago spinners back when they made Ninjago spinners. Although they might, they'll probably bring them back when they bring back Ninjago. But we're getting off topic here. Um, do have a sticker right there, just a stripe basically, and a sticker for the control panel on the inside there. Can't really see that. There we go. Got some buttons and displays and stuff. Uh, got these bits here, which are part of a thruster system, I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, got two guns there. And uh, you can take Chuck Stonebreaker and just set him down in the seat there. I like that seat piece. Um, better than the usual one because it allows them to lean back a bit more. There we go. Well, a little bit more, that is. Um, and there are two flick fire missiles there. So, okay. you know, I'm just gonna push fire them. But not the second one. So, yeah, it's got that green tip of there, trans green. So, uh, there is Chuck Stonebreaker's little hover speeder sliding thing. Now onto the main part of the set. So, obviously, the biggest part of the set and, um, the set, the parts the set is named after is the Crater Creeper. Now, I gotta say, this thing is a little bit bigger than I expected, um, for it being only part, even though it's the biggest part of a 171-piece set, it is bigger than I expected. So these uh, leg pieces are pretty large, which the middle legs, by the way, can move up and down that far. But the other legs are completely rigid and cannot move whatsoever. I'm going to come back to this part in the front in a sec here. Um, we've got a sticker right there and a trans red piece there, which is really cool. I like the trans red piece on the back. Um, and there was a clip back there. You can take the Bugoids ray gun. And stick it back there. So now the crater creeper, I guess, could shoot little rays out of its butt. Um, really. By the way, really like these leg pieces. I doubt they're new, but they could be. I mean, I'm not really a huge. I don't really keep huge track of how I like new pieces and stuff. More flick fire missiles, so. Two flick fire missiles for each vehicle, but obviously this one is a bigger vehicle, and uh, in this case, bigger is better as far as the battle goes. Um, if you are just battling with this set, uh, a more alien bug looking control panel, of course, and then we do have right there that bit which that printed piece is in at least one other set. Um, but there's a really awesome feature on this. And um, what you can do is, this, this this gray piece, there's one on the other side, rubber band pincers, pretty cool. Sometimes they get, like, stuck on each other, like, you know what I mean? 
now I'm just going to get a better view of that. And there's how it looks from the top. And the probably the most menacing part is from the front. So, yeah. And you can make it grab the little Galaxy Squad vehicle there. And then you can also take your Bugoid and, of course, set him. As I was saying, um, you can... I don't know why the camera stopped, by the way. Um, you can put your Bugoid in the cockpit. So you can attack the Galaxy Squad. But he dropped it! Whee! Um, yeah. <laughs> so, there is your uh, detailed look at the set. Again, I love this pencil feature. Um, and on to the final verdict. So, overall, guys, this is a really awesome set. Um, it's gonna be pretty popular, if you ask me, because it's the smallest of the Summer Galaxy Squad sets. The other ones are $40, $70, and $100. That's the range. This one's $20. So, obviously, it's gonna be more popular with the kids, because, obviously, for the most part, kids don't usually have as much money as adults. Um, so obviously they're going to go for the smaller stuff first and then ask for the bigger ones, like for their birthday, Christmas, etc. Other holidays. Um, and yeah, um, if you want to get it before, uh, Lego stores and stuff have it, head over to your Toys R Us. $2 markup isn't a big deal. Um, not really that big of a deal. Um. Or if you want to wait a couple months, you can get it at the Lego store. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is my review on the Lego Galaxy Squad set 70706, Crater Creeper. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.